the yoga studio is a great way to get started with yoga. Sometimes we don't have time to do a full hour, hour and a half, but no yoga shouldn't be an option. Always make time in your day, even if it's just for 10 minutes. This is a 30 minute yoga practice designed to help the beginner learn some of the new poses that you're learning in class and to support you in between your studio visits. So this is a perfect home practice for the beginning yogi. Start by sitting on a yoga block, right here, or a pillow will do. You just wanna make sure that your knees are lower than your hips. Take a nice deep breath and close your eyes. Bring your awareness inward. And try and release the tension from your eyelids. Just let your eyes be softly closed. Breathing deeply. Let everything begin to sink into the floor, feeling heavy, but tall at the same time. On your next breath, as you inhale, sweep your arms up and over, hands coming together overhead, and as you exhale, just draw your hands down towards your heart, and pause here with your hands right in front of your sternum, palm pressing to palm. Taking a deep breath and just set an intention to focus on yoga for the next 30 minutes. Release your hands, open your eyes, and come into table pose on your hands and knees. Keep your block at the top of the mat, just in case you need it. Wrists under the shoulders, fingers spread comfortably wide, but not overly stretched. Knees underneath the hips, toes curled under. Nice deep breath in, and as you exhale, draw your shoulder blades in. Feel your sternum sinking down towards the floor. On your next breath, inhale, lift the chin, lift the tailbone, lengthen the front side of the body. And as you exhale, round through the back. Tuck your chin, tuck your tailbone. Really good stretch. Inhale, lift the chin, lift the tailbone, deep curve. Exhale, round through the back, stretching between the shoulders. Two more breaths. Move with your own breath. Always being respectful of your own rhythm, your own pace. Now on your next inhale, come back to a nice neutral table pose. Uncurl your toes and on the exhale, press back towards your heels. Now coming into child's pose can be tricky for a beginner. If your head doesn't come to the floor, use the block to support your forehead. And then reach your hands towards the top of the mat. Just slowly creep your fingers closer and closer to the top of the mat so that you feel the stretch from your elbow all the way down to your hips on both sides. Spread your fingers wide, plant your hands, and then let the elbows pull down towards the mat. Now nice deep breaths into the back of your rib cage here. Feel the extra stretch just from taking a big breath. Next inhale, bring yourself back up to table pose. Make your way slowly, once again, placing wrists under the shoulders, move your block to the side, knees under the hips. Turn your toes under. Nice deep breath. And this time as you exhale, lift the hips to come to downward dog. Now it doesn't matter if your heels don't touch the floor, you just wanna feel the stretch into the back of the legs. 
Now lift your heels and press your right. Inhale, right heel lifts. Exhale, press the left heel down towards the floor. Inhale, lift the left heel, and as you exhale, stretch both heels down towards the floor. Again, they do not need to connect with the mat. You just want to feel the stretch in the back of the knees, the back of the calves, from your hips to your heels. Inhale, lift the heels, bend the knees, and walk your feet towards your hands. Knees bent, reach for your block just to support the weight of your arms. And then drop your head. Tucking your chin towards your chest, let your head hang heavily. Give it a nice little shake just to loosen the muscles in the neck. And then really let that head hang. Now push into the floor, begin to lift the sit bones up towards the ceiling just slightly, just to increase the intensity in the stretch of the back of the legs. Now inhale, press your hands into the block, arms nice and long. So you're coming up just slightly out of the forward fold. Crown of the head reaches forward. Breathing deeply, never restricting your breath. On your neck. Inhale, come halfway up. Hands just underneath your knees. As you exhale, let your hands press into your knees so the back of your legs can open as fully as your body will let them. Always following your body's lead. Another deep breath. Reach forward with the crown of the head. And on the exhale, draw the fronts of the shoulders back, just like you did in table pose. Hold it here for a breath or two. Just reconnecting to your breath. Now soften the back of the knees a tiny bit. Bring your hands to your hips. And as you inhale, come all the way up. And release the hands. Inhale, sweep the arms up. Hold the arms up. Fingers spreading wide, palm turn to palm. Biceps pulling back to line with your ears. Now draw the belly in at the ribs together. Feel the tailbone lengthening. Reach up through the crown of the head. Take a nice deep breath in, the full length of your body. Fingertips to feet. Exhale, sink down. Feel the shoulders releasing down towards the floor. Feel the belly and the ribs pulling in, toning the core. Nice deep breaths. Feel your strength here in Volcano Pose. Take one more big, beautiful breath in. And as you exhale, release the arms. Palms turning forward, fronts of the shoulders still pulling back. Inhale, sweep the arms up. Exhale, bow forward. Bend your knees, block to the side, fingertips to the floor. Step your right foot back. Turn your right foot, drop your heel. Heel in line with heel. Bring your left elbow to your left thigh, right hand to your right hip. Now look down at your left toes. Left toes pointing straight forward, right toes pointing out at 90 degrees. Now pull back with the left heel, pull forward with the right. Feel that arch engaging in the right foot. Nice deep breath in, and as you exhale, turn open with the right shoulder, pulling open up towards the ceiling. Let your eyes follow. Now put a little bit of pressure, left forearm into that inner knee, just to open up a little bit more. But feeling the full depth of your breath. If you've lost some of the breath, come out of the pose just slightly. So you can reconnect to your breath. And inhale, reach up with the right arm. Eyes looking up at your right thumb, legs nice and strong. Deep breath in, reach up with the right hand. And as you exhale, 
Circle the right hand down, shoulders square to the mat. Left fingers to the outside of the left foot. Pivot on the ball of your right big toe, step forward. Knees bent if they need to be. Take a nice breath in. Exhale, step back with the left foot. Pivot on the ball of the left big toe. Heel in line with heel. Right elbow to your right thigh, left hand to your left hip. Look down at your right toes. Pull back your right heel. Pull forward with the left foot. Feel the left arch engage nice and strong. Deep breath in. And as you exhale, open up through the left shoulder. Keep the right shoulder nice and soft. Again, feeling in your body when you know you've gone too far, you lose your breath. Keep the breath deep. And then when you're ready, reach up with the left arm. Nice deep breaths. One more. Inhale, reach up with the left arm. And as you exhale, float the back hand down. To either side of the leg. Pivot on the ball of your left big toe. Now plant your hands and step back to downward dog. Taking your time to move into the pose. If you don't get it right the first time, take a couple extra steps. Nice deep breaths here in downward dog, making sure you engage from your fingertips to the heel of your hand. Lift your heels, bend your knees, walk your feet towards your hands. Take your time. Nobody said you had to get there in one step. Reach for your block. Hands to your block. Inhale. Reach forward with the crown of the head. Really feel the length in the back of the legs as you push the soles of your feet into the floor. Exhale. Bow forward. Slowly bowing all the way down. Notice the difference between this forward fold and the first one. Maybe your block needs to be adjusted a little bit lower. Maybe your fingertips reach the floor now. They didn't before. These are the changes that your yoga practice brings to your body. Now inhale, come halfway up, hands Hands to your hips. Inhale, all the way up. And release the hands. Inhale, sweep the arms up. Exhale, bow forward. Bend your knees just so that your fingertips can touch the floor. Step your right foot back, just the length of a regular step. Now push into the floor with the outside of the right heel. One at a time, bring your hands up onto your left thigh. Left knee over top of your left ankle. Now press your hands into your thigh to bring your shoulders over top of your hips. Keep pushing into the floor with the right heel. Release the arms, and as you inhale, sweep the arms up. Put a soft bend in the elbows, thumbs turning towards the back of the room. And as you inhale, pull the wrists, elbows, and shoulders all back at the same rate, exhale, Draw the belly in. Feel the lengthening in the front of the right thigh. Holding this warrior one pose. Now you can hold it here, or if you want to deepen the pose a tiny little bit, reach up through the fingertips. Lengthening through the arms, but keeping the shoulders pulling away from the ears. Nice deep breaths. Take a deep breath in, reach up, and as you exhale, bow forward. Fingertips to the floor, step your right foot forward. Inhale, come halfway up, nice stretch in the back of the legs. Exhale, bend the knees, fingertips to the floor, step your left foot back. Again, the length of a regular step. Push into the floor with the left heel. One at a time, bring your hands up onto your right thigh. Right knee is stacked over top of your right ankle. 
Push into the floor with the outer left heel. Feel the front of the left thigh nice and strong. Now slowly press your hands into your right thigh to bring your shoulders over top of your hips. You feel the subtle lengthening in the front of the left thigh, the left hip flexor. Release the hands. Inhale, sweep the arms up. Soft bend in the elbows at first. Feel the shoulders releasing. Inhale, pull the wrists, elbows, shoulders all back at the same rate. Exhale, draw the belly in. Next breath. If you choose, reach up through the fingertips, lengthening the arms without sacrificing the softness in the shoulders. Breathe deeply. Deep breath in, reach up. Feel the feet pressing into the floor, fingertips rising up towards the ceiling. Exhale, bow forward. This time, bend your knees enough that your hands are planted on the floor. Step your left foot forward. Hold it here. Nice deep breath in. Come high on the fingertips. Exhale, plant your hands and step back. Two or three steps if you need to, to get back into downward dog. Three deep breaths here in downward dog. Lift your heels, bring your knees all the way down to the mat. Move your block to the side. Now press into the floor with your left hand and your right knee. As you inhale, sweep up with the right hand. Exhale, bring the right hand under the left side of the body. Bring your right shoulder, right ear all the way down to the floor, coming into a nice twist. Now reach with the right hand, fingertips reaching away. Adjust your left hand if you need to so you feel properly balanced and safe. And now pull back the left shoulder. Feel yourself opening into the twist a little bit more. Bring your breath all the way into your belly. Now press into the floor with the left hand. As you inhale, lift the right shoulder, right ear, and on the exhale, come back to table pose. Press into the floor with the right hand and the left knee. Inhale, sweep out with the left arm. Big breath in. Exhale, left hand, left arm comes under the right side of the body. Reach the left fingers away. Bring your left shoulder, left ear all the way down to the mat. Again, adjust your right hand if you need to feel a little more stable. And keep the left arm active, fingers reaching. Hold on to that nice deep breath. Feel that wonderful stretch from your left shoulder diagonally across your back to your right hip. Inhale, press into the floor with the right hand. Lift the left shoulder, left ear, and as you exhale, come back to table. Now bring your knees slightly wider than your hips, big toes together, and press back towards your heels, coming into a wide leg child's pose. Again, if your forehead doesn't come down to the floor, use your block for support. Drape your arms at your sides. Let your shoulders roll forward. Arms nice and heavy. Nice deep breaths using the space in the back of the rib cage to really harness the breath. Place your hands under your shoulders.
slowly bring yourself up. Move your block to the side. Swing your legs round to the top of the mat. Place your hands at your sides. Now spread your toes wide and hug the backs of your legs into the mat. On your next breath in, push your hands into the floor to lift yourself nice and tall. Feel the crown of the head reaching up. And as you exhale, again, draw the belly and the ribs in just for a little support in the back side of the body. Now keep the legs anchored, nice and heavy. Feel the arms and legs working equally, supporting you in this staff pose, Dandasana. All the muscles are firing. Everything feels strong at this point in your practice. One more breath. Now stay strong, stay tall. And as you inhale, hug the backs of the legs down, sweep the arms up. Soft bend in the elbows, turn the palms forward. Now pull back with the wrists, elbows, and shoulders. Draw the belly in a little bit more. Stay long through the body. Spread the fingers wide to keep all the muscles in the arms working. And breathe just to wash away any tension that's building in your body. There's a difference between tension and strength. You want to harness your strength. One more breath. And as you exhale, just let your hands float back down to the floor and release your leg muscles. Feet nice and soft. And reach for your strap. So if you don't have a yoga strap, you can just grab a belt out of your closet. It works perfectly well. One end of the strap in each hand just want to put the strap over the soles of your feet. Now again, spread your toes wide. Feet are hip distance apart, so take a nice deep breath in. Exhale, anchor the backs of your legs into the floor. Lift yourself up nice and tall. Now rather than folding, thinking of rounding through the spine, hinge at the hip. Take another breath in. And as you exhale, use your hands on the strap to bring your sternum forward, keeping the spine nice and long, shoulders open. Now keep the pressure, soles of the feet pressing into the strap, strap pulling into the soles of the feet. Take another breath in, reach up and forward with the crown of the head. Exhale, draw the belly in and fold deeper. So it's not about how deep you go into the forward fold. It's about the lengthening that you're feeling in the back of the legs and the height that you're getting with the full length of your spine. Still got that big, beautiful breath going on. Tension disappearing from the shoulders. All that matters is the body and the breath. Now release the strap. Let your hands land wherever they land, shins, floor, wherever they happen to be. Take a nice deep breath in. And as you exhale, now is the time to allow the spine to round, shoulders to come forward. Chin tucks towards your chest as you sink more deeply into the forward fold. Take a couple of breaths. Allow your body to reveal what this particular forward fold is going to look like. Release your leg muscles from the thighs. Let your toes and feet go limp and slowly sink deeper. 
And then you realize I've got more room to tuck my chin a little closer towards my chest. But take your time. Feel every sensation that your body is sending you. Be respectful of all those messages. Now to come out, slowly begin to lift the chin, feel the fronts of the shoulders pull back. Nice deep breath. Use your hands for support and slowly walk your hands back. Sitting nice and tall once again. Move your strap to the side. Bring your toes to the top of the mat. Bend your knees, roll yourself down. Tuck your shoulder blades underneath you. Walk your heels towards your hips. Get a sense that your feet are hip distance apart. As you exhale, allow your lower back to sink into the floor. Take a nice deep breath. Now bend your arms so your elbows are pressing into the floor, fingers reaching up towards the ceiling. Tilt your head back just a tiny bit so the tops of your ears are pointing down towards the floor. Chin is open, throat is soft. Now press into the floor equally from elbow to shoulder. Feel the sternum beginning to lift off the mat and feel that deep, deep curve in the lower back. Groin's really heavy. Press into the floor with the soles of the feet, and as you inhale, begin to lift the hips up off the mat, coming into a bridge pose. Lifting your hips only as high as your sternum. Staying soft through the shoulders, soft through the neck. Nice deep breaths. On your next exhale, just slowly bring yourself down, one vertebrae at a time. Hug your knees in towards your chest. Give them a good squeeze. Gently rock from side to side. Bring your feet to the floor. Stretch your legs out one at a time. Take a nice deep breath. And as you exhale, feel everything release. Toes turning out, inner thighs turning out and up. Shoulders sinking into the floor. Hips feeling heavy. Eyes closing softly. Bring your awareness back to your breath. Draw your breath into your belly, ribs, chest. And as you exhale, release from your chest, ribs, belly. Inhale, belly, ribs, chest. Exhale, chest, ribs, belly. Continue here in Shavasana for as long as you choose, however time you have for your practice today. Have a great day.